crazy. They said that he stabbed the lady up a hundred times, whoever it was. What's going on y'all grinding all the way back in this thing again with another video and today I'm checking out an article. The name of the article is Woman Found Stabbed to Death in Gruesome Piedmont Park Scene. $10,000 reward for any information. And uh, this is crazy man. Before we get into it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff and let me think. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Um, do you live in Atlanta or are you just a person who's passing by and just, this is a crazy thing to you man. Let me know what you think. Started an article right here. Atlanta police are investigating after a woman was found stabbed to death and her dog killed at Piedmont Park Wednesday morning. She and her dog were discovered inside of the Charles Allen entrance, police said. And that's like the the main entrance to Piedmont Park. If you don't live in Atlanta, if you do live in Atlanta, that's like the that's like the place kinda where they start a little bit of everything at or where everybody kinda seems to meet at for some reason. She has been identified as Katie Janice. Rest in peace to her condolences to the to the to the family and friends of Katie Janice. Also, authorities described Charles Allen entrance to the park near 10th Street as a gruesome scene. They said Janice and her dog were killed inside the park. Part of the park was blocked off with authorities, canine teams, and other first responders swarming the area all morning. Police said she was last seen on surveillance walking her dog near the Rainbow Crosswalk in Midtown Atlanta. Authorities said another person in the park made the discovery on Wednesday afternoon. They released a picture and announced a $10,000 reward in the case. If you don't know what the Rainbow Crosswalk is, uh, it's like a little section of uh, Atlanta where I guess where you know they have the the prideful people are able to congregate and they got the restaurants and all that kind of stuff over there. Just like a little, just like a little intersection where they painted it rainbow color. That's pretty much it. After that, it says for the ending, it's 11, 11 Alive is working to learn more information about the scene. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers for 4577 tips or the Atlanta Police Department at 4546 4235. I sound like a snitch doing that, but I mean, hey, whoever did this, man, they, they don't even really need to be out here, to be honest. That's crazy. They said that he stabbed the lady up a hundred times, whoever it was. They don't deserve to be out here. They need to be eradicated from existence. What do y'all think about that, man? Um, they said they found the they found the lady's body at like 1 a.m. So I'm not sure what time she was out there. But if you live in Atlanta, you know how it is with Piedmont Park. They close the park down sometime like uh, what 10, 11 o'clock, and it's pitch dark, pitch dark. So I definitely highly advise any any uh, ladies that that have to walk by the park to try to stay away from that thing, man, at night, cause it's it's just too much going on. It's uh you know they got the the one guy who who was lynched. I don't know if he was lynched or if he hung himself, but they say he was lynched out there in Piedmont Park. And then you've also got uh, the fact that there's like thirty thousand Jays living in Piedmont Park. When uh, cause I I know because I've I've ran through Piedmont Park several times on my on my daily runs, and they've had several races through Piedmont Park. Like if you go to the back of Piedmont Park, there's actually like a haven where Jays and homeless people congregate and they're sleeping, they're living and all this kind of shit. So you know you're running a, a 10k race with a million people and they're all passing through these people's, I guess, homes where they're sleeping and stuff like that. So I guess you never know if it was a, a Jay, you don't know if it was a homeless man down his luck trying to trying to rob somebody. You don't know. You don't know if it was a crazy kid, man. Atlanta's been going through a lot of crazy situations lately, man. Like it seems like every other day I'm seeing a crazy shooting. I'm seeing a crazy car accident because somebody can't drive or somebody did some real stupid ass shit. I'm seeing a fight. I'm seeing uh, Buckhead Linux malls going crazy. It seems like Buckhead. Buckhead is shitty now. I don't care what nobody said. Buckhead used to be back in the day like you you could go out there. You didn't have to worry about seeing no J's. You didn't have to worry about nobody really fighting. You didn't have to worry about nothing but just rich white people and, or, or and going to Linux mall and trying to afford the prices. That's all you had to worry about. But now you got to worry about going to Linux Mall. You got some lame ass dude trying to trying to show how tough he is to pull out his gun because he couldn't win a fight. You got some ratchet ass girls over here running around trying to show how strong and independent they are. So they're fighting or they're making shit look bad at the restaurants and all this kind of stuff. You got uh, what else you got? You got Jays at every other gas station in Buckhead. Buckhead is shitty. Lennox Mall is shitty. All the malls in Atlanta, to be honest now, are shitty. If you want to keep it real with yourself. 
what mall do you know that's still standing this ground in the Atlanta area or in the metro Atlanta area that's like, oh yeah, I like this mall still. I don't know if you go out to like Ar Ar Arbor Place or something out there in Alpharetta, but who wants to go out of 45 minutes just to go to a mall? They has got the same basic shit. I don't go to the mall anyway. I think the mall is, is child's play, to be honest. Um, you can just order some shit. I mean, or if you're going, I guess you're going to like Neiman Marcus or some shit like that, you probably hit Lennox or something like that. But uh, most of the people that go to Lennox can't really afford Neiman Marcus, so what are they doing there? They're flexing. Yeah, man, but all the malls suck. South DeKalb was, uh, used to be the shittiest mall. Now Lennox is almost on par with South DeKalb. Folks getting shot and robbed and all kind of bullshit out there. I, I just don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely a crazy situation. Atlanta's, Atlanta's kind of becoming like uh, the new California in a way. It's like we've got a lot of homeless in, in J's. We got new apartments and everything being built up in places that they shouldn't be built. It's like, bro, we're about to be overrun with apartments everywhere. We got expensive prices for the apartments. You got people over here, they living in shanties and shit, and then you got this million dollar start set of one million. Like, they're acting like it's uh, starting at the low one million. It's like, what are you talking about? The low one millions? I've never heard of that. Um, what else you got going on? I mean, of course, you got all the movies being filmed here, man. You don't know what. It, it, we're just going downhill in these streets, man. That's all I got to say, man. What do you think about the current climate of Atlanta if you live here? If you don't live here, what have you heard? And what do you think about it? Are you planning on moving here? If you are, just don't move here because we, we are full and also uh it seems I, I i'm just i'm going to just blame it on the transplants and said the transplants are the ones that's coming down here and doing all this extra shit and bullshit we don't really be doing all that but uh yeah man that's uh that's the video for the day man condolences to the lady's family again her family and friends try to stay away from piedmont park at night because that shit is man or woman because that shit is looks it looks like a horror movie to be honest when you go over there it's, it's pitch dark you can't see shit they, they need to get lights up i don't know why they don't have lights they don't have lights they slick don't have lights on the belt line throughout the belt line they don't have lights at piedmont park which they should which is idiotic to me they don't have any of the roads fixed that have been down bad for 10 years they working on the same three roads but they want to build a new apartment over here for these folks. Get this shit together, man. But yeah, that's it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, man. Y'all have a great day. Y'all go out here and get it. I'll see y'all next time.